We're going to be checking out my SSG-10 Airsoft Sniper Rifle setup today on Shot Tactics. Hey everybody, welcome to Shot Tactics. So I've been having a lot of success with my sniper rifle lately and I get a lot of questions all the time about, hey, what you got in your rifle? What have you done to it? Uh, people want to know. So since I get a lot of questions, I'm making a video today to show you exactly what I've done to my lovely SSG-10 here to upgrade it. Now, when you're looking at upgrading this gun, there's really three fronts you need to focus on. One is your performance, two is your camouflage, and three is your noise. And that's really the order of importance you want to look at when you do them. And we're going to look at all three of those things uh, today when I tell you about this, but you know, first you want to do your performance. You want to get your gun shooting good before you dive into anything else. So that's the most important thing to tackle. Second is the camouflage. You want to make it hidden. Um, I noticed a huge difference once I started camouflaging my gun and just people not seeing me. People would run right past me um, and not even you'd see me once I had my gun camouflaged with the rest of my suit too. Um, that's important, not just your gun, your whole gear setup. You need to focus on your camouflage. And actually, my next video, I'm going to be covering my whole sniper rig, my camo, my belt, everything uh, for you guys to check out. So if you like this video, be sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss that one either. But anyway, the third front to focus on is the sound, uh, making your gun quieter. So basically, that's what we're going to look at today. First and foremost, let's talk about the performance of this lovely SSG-10 here. So looking at the gun right off the bat, you can see that I have the silencer on the end and it is a little bit shorter. That's because I took off the outer barrel, the long outer barrel, and I have replaced it with the uh, short outer barrel as well as the suppressor. I wanted to make my gun quieter by adding the suppressor and I like the look of the suppressor too but when you want to put a suppressor on here the gun is really 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 long uh, with the long outer barrel and the suppressor on so what I did was I took the long outer barrel off and I put on a short outer barrel now if you're gonna do that if you're gonna take the outer barrel off you have two options one is you get a short inner barrel just the same length to fit inside that outer barrel or you could still run the same regular barrel it just extends outside of the outer barrel and runs up into the silencer itself and i think really the way to go if you're going to run a silencer is to do the regular barrel don't go with the short inner barrel um, because you lose a lot of power when you uh, switch to that short inner barrel so really why would you want to do that like just run the extended barrel into the silencer so also what I did when running that up there is you worry about with all that uh, barrel length just hanging out there you know it could wobble around so I got an extra stabilizer and I've put a stabilizer around my inner barrel inside of the silencer to keep it from flopping around so another upgrade I've made is I have taken off the stock hop-up adjustment and replaced it with the Tridos TDC. The TDC comes in this little box and it's just an adjustment wheel um, that goes on the top of the gun here. And what it does, it gives you much more precision in adjusting your hop-up. The stock hop-up only has a few uh, clicks that you can slide versus the TDC really has way more clicks that you can give it and they're much closer together. So you can get a much more precise, much more dialed in hop up adjustment with the TDC. And I say this was a really, really good upgrade. When I put this on the gun, I, I could tell a huge difference and I was really, really able to get my uh, shots dialed in like I wanted them. I it was super impressed with the, the accuracy that the TDC gave me. So that's an upgrade I highly recommend to you. Another upgrade I've made, as you can see, I flipped the gun around here, is to show you my bolt handle. My bolt handle is on the left side because I'm left-handed. For me, huge upgrade. <laughs> I mean, if you're left-handed, that's a must, you gotta do it. But if you're not left-handed, obviously you don't wanna do that. But for me, 
super, super upgrade. The scope I'm running on this gun, just the stock Novrich scope out of SL on Novrich.com. Great scope, does awesome, no complaints with that. Now, I've also had this little bubble lever here on the outside uh, that I can see from the back when I'm shooting, I can see if my gun's level or not to help me keep my shot straight. I kind of take a peek at that uh, right as I'm about to be ready to shoot at someone. And it is helpful, it helps you keep your gun stabilized and it keeps your shots flying straight. So that's pretty much the performance upgrades that you can see from looking at the outside of the gun. Now let's talk about the performance upgrades I've made to the interior of the gun. So I replaced my spring with these springs from Rapex and I've got a couple different ones, different powers, but uh, they're advertised as being a light pull spring, like they're easier to pull back. They are easy to pull back. I have no way to compare it really to, uh, you know, another spring to say, hey, it is better uh, because the stock spring that I was using in this gun was a weaker spring than the Rap X's that I bought. So they are smooth on the pull, like they feel great. Like I don't have any problem pulling it back and I can't really tell much difference in um, the other spring, the stock spring. So that being said, if I'm using a stronger spring and it feels just as easy, maybe it is better. I don't know, to do a true comparison, I think you'd really have to compare um, the same power spring uh, of the different brands, but I'm happy with them. I, I think they do pull very smooth. Uh, the Rapex springs are great, and I've got two different strengths of them that I can swap in and out of this gun. Now you can obviously change the power of your gun by swapping out your spring, but I've also got these FPS adjustment rings uh, that Novrich sells that I could swap in and out of my gun if I wanted to really fine tune the FPS. Honestly, I've not used them yet. I just keep them and someday I might use them if I'm going to a particular field that has some different settings, uh, but I've got them. They weren't expensive. I was ordering some other stuff anyway. I've got them to use should I ever need them. Another change I've done is I have swapped out my bucking. Now I swapped to a brand called X Range because I read a lot of really good things about X Range. And I got a, a couple of different um, degrees. Uh, they come in different degrees based on the feet per second you want. The stock hop up that comes in your gun in the SSG-10 is a 60 degree maple leaf bucking. I went up to a 70 degree, which will allow me to uh, still hop up my BBs at a little bit higher feet per second. Uh, I, I used the 70 degree, I also bought the 65, um, but I've been using the 70 degree uh, so far. The, the, the picture you see here uh, that I'm showing you is the 65 blue, uh, but I'm using the 70 uh, orange within the gun right now. And I'm able to hop up the BBs just fine using this. Now I actually did not swap out the hop up unit. I know a lot of people do. Um, I did not, and I'm running just fine with the stop hop, stock hop up, just replaced the bucking to go to a higher feet per second. I also have not replaced the inner barrel. I know a lot of, you might be shocked. A lot of people change their inner barrel. I did not. I was actually going to, but the one I wanted couldn't find it in stock. And I didn't want to wait around on all these other upgrades, so I did everything else, and it shoots just fine. Like, I'm really happy with the performance. So I'm not gonna swap the, the inner barrel. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I'm really happy with the way it's shooting right now, keeping the stock inner barrel. And one last thing I just wanna mention in making all these upgrades that made them much easier, the cylinder head wrench. This is just a wrench that you can put on your cylinder to unscrew it. So much simpler than messing around with um, needle nose pliers works great. Highly recommend that if you're going to be doing some tinkering with your gun. So that pretty much covers everything I've done to this gun performance wise. Now let's get into the camouflage that I've done with this gun. As you can see, this is not your standard black SSG 10 A1 anymore. I've transformed it a whole lot. Uh, the first thing I've done is I did a camo paint job on it, which actually was really easy to do. Uh, just buy a few cans of spray paint, paint the gun on up, put you some, uh, some twigs and things over it uh, to spray as like a stencil. That's all I did. It was really easy to do. So I went with like a brown 
uh, camo base uh, for the entire gun. And then the next thing I did, which was really easy as well, was get this Novrich uh, gun cover um, as well as the suppressor cover and really just put that on the gun and you can see it, it looks pretty doggone good. I've actually bought some extra leaves and other little bits uh, to put on here, but after putting this on just itself, just this gun cover, uh, I've gone and played with it and people run right by me, don't see me. I'm happy with it like it is. I'm playing in the fall right now. There's not many leaves out there. This, this does just fine. People really don't see me at all with this. Now come springtime, I probably will put a little bit more greenery on this gun, attach some more leaves to it. And this thing is great the way it's made with this kind of netting, this mesh. Uh, to where you can pin other leaves onto this and Novrich actually sells uh, leaves to put on here. I've bought some of those and I'm going to be doing that in the spring, but right now in the fall, I'm happy with it just like I'm running it. Another, piece, another thing I've done, I've put this sort of honeycomb shaped piece over the front of my scope here. This stops, you know, if sunlight hits your scope, it'll flash in the glass and people might see it from a distance. This covers that and, and protects you from being seen that way. Another thing I've done here, you can see, I actually run the uh, run cam, scope cam on my scope. Take some really awesome shots, love it, but it is a black camera. Didn't really want to spray paint the camera because I do put it on other guns as well that I don't have all camoed out. And I just didn't want to mess with painting it. So what I do is I use this fabric tape and I've wrapped my run cam up. This stuff's great for just putting on anything, really, if there's any little bits on the gun that you want to uh, tape up, use that, cover it up. Great, great, great tool that I use on a lot of my guns, actually. So we've talked about performance, we've talked about camo, now we're gonna talk about sound, reducing the sound of your gun. And there's several things I've done on that end as well. Right off the bat, you'll notice, boom, a suppressor right there on the end. The suppressor does help with sound uh, from listening to it in the front. You have a, these little foam rings all throughout the suppressor. It does help uh, absorb the sound. Now another thing I've done to my suppressor, you will see on the end here, I have some tape over my good old uh, camo fabric tape I was just talking about. I've wrapped that over the end and I've cut a little slit in it and they call that a fart flap. And what the fart flap does is it absorbs some more of that sound coming out. The, the gas from the gun will actually push, push it open if it does get a little closed. The gas coming out ahead of the BB pushes it open and absorbs some of the sound and the BB will fly out and not really have any effect on the performance of your shot. Pretty cool upgrade, really easy to do. Another upgrade I've done to help with the sound is acoustic foam. This really helps absorb the sound. You wanna fill any cavities in your gun with that foam. Take off your butt plate, fill this up with foam. Put it up under your outer barrel, inside your outer barrel. You just wanna fill up the cavities to get that extra sound absorption. And that's pretty much all the upgrades I've done sound wise. So there you go folks, those are the upgrades that I have made to my SSG 10 A1. And I didn't mention the A1 before, but I guess I should. I yeah, run the A1. I prefer it over the others because A the price and B the weight. You look at the weight of the other ones. This is actually the lightest one they make and I love running around with a lightweight gun. Just a whole lot easier so I prefer the A1. Anyway those are all the upgrades I've made to my SSG10. I hope that you've enjoyed this and you'll find this useful. Go out there get your guns shooting like you want them folks. Get them shooting good. Sniping can be so much fun once you get your gun shooting like you want it and have done all your upgrades. It's just a really great feeling to start with a stock gun, upgrade it and get it shooting awesome and then getting those super awesome shots on your scope cam. So 
Thank you so much, folks. I greatly appreciate you watching. Be sure and subscribe. Like I said, we're going to be going over my actual gear loadout, my camo, my rig, everything else I do for sniping in my next video. So if you like this video, want to take it to the next level of being a better sniper, be sure and subscribe so you'll catch that. Thanks so much for watching, folks. We'll see you next time right here on Shot Tactics.